Elastic Surface Crack Interaction and its Engineering Critical Assessment within the Framework of Fitness for Services Standards. The main goal of this paper is to investigate the limits of using combined flaws on the failure assessment diagram methodology in comparison to the interaction phenomena problem within the linear elastic fracture mechanics framework. Our methodology consisted of several finite element simulations of a pair of twin cracks on a structural steel plate under mode 1 loading, with the cracks having the following dimensions. The stress intensity factor was then extracted from the semi elliptical profile along the parametric angular position for the following distances between the cracks. The model was assessed regarding its capabilities and has shown excellent agreement with other authors' results. It can be seen that the stress intensity factor and biaxiality ratio profiles are both affected by the interaction as the cracks approximate towards each other. Regarding the elastic interaction factor, the maximum amplification was observed at the interaction crack tip. At this parametric location, a 24% amplification was noticed at the interaction criterion distance recommended by fitness for services standards, which indicates inconsistency with the 10% amplification prerogative stated on those standards. Considering the engineering critical assessment using the failure assessment diagram methodology, it can be seen that the combined flaw would not be safe for operation while all the interacting cases would be, which indicates that there would be still some safe operational life for those when compared to the combined flaw. As conclusions, the finite element models developed are representative of the stress intensity factor and T stress profiles. The amplification phenomenon due to the interaction affects both the stress intensity factor and the biaxiality ratios magnitudes along all profiles. Uh, the interaction criteria according to BS7910 and API579 is higher than the 10%, which was the basis for crack interaction to be considered meaningful on those standards. And regarding the engineering critical assessment, the combined flaws induce too much conservatism and the interacting cracks would have safe operational life before being repaired or discarded. The authors would like to acknowledge the coordination for the improvement of higher education and the National Council for Scientific and Technological Development in Brazil for funding this research.